Yes, this is uh, uh, the glory of Rome. What are your special units? My special units are the Samurai and the Zero, which is like a fighter jet or a uh, bomber plane. My uh, nationality never quite got that far. Um, it says, Blessings of the Gods upon you, Kaiser Augustus, Emperor so of Rome. What are your special units? The Ballista and the Legion. It was. Uh, it's an. Uh, see, I, I fear that I may not get to the zero. I'm sure we'll do fine. Wait to. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Found that say. The spawn though. My spawn is majestic. I don't know what your spawn is, but. Range is interesting. <laughs> Oh my god, your stupid Skype thing is back. Oh, <laughs> it just yes. keeps like insisting and appear Wow, appearing in the top like or the bottom right. It won't stay away. It keeps like trying to like hide the map. Okay, um choose research. Let's go with it's gonna be covered by my name, but mm, yeah. Go with um that because uh, yeah. That's a thing. That, that is a thing there. There's a thing. Next turn. It's up to you, Mr. Japan. I'm the only one that hasn't founded a city yet. You're also the only one below me on the player list in score. Your turn has begun. It's like at this point in time, it's just hit return over and over again. We could be like on different continents from one another or anything. We could be so far away from each other that we never meet. <laughs> but we need to be able to like lend military support to each other. It's, it's important. Have you found your city now? I'm just about to. I assure you. I must be like really lucky in where I start because I always like. In the city. This, it, this is weird because you can, mm. I'm used to playing The Sims 3 and in The Sims 3 I have edge scrolling disabled so I need to right click and drag but in this it doesn't do that and I keep ordering my unit to go to strange places because that's what right click does. I have natural resources coming out my butt. Like, you wouldn't believe. How many natural resources I've got. I mean, I'm not like working any of them just now, but we'll get it there. In, like episode 17, probably. Well, I can now choose a research. You know, when I did the the single player series, it was getting to the point where I was doing like five turns an episode. Because there's just so much happening <laughs> in like a turn. <laughs> Like the episodes were half an hour, so. I am, um. I'm just looking at Rome. It's. I seem to be, like, next to jungles. Uh, yeah. It's a strange place for Rome to be. I have, like, jumped quite a distance in the scoreboard for some reason. <laughs> The scoreboard is screwed. I have twelve points. People the same, there's people with the same score as me somehow. I have met. Oh no, I didn't turn off like city states. <laughs> <laughs> have you run into a city state? I've run into Sydney. Oh. Um, I seem to be in Australia. City-states are just nonsense. They are annoying. I've never dealt with them before, for, so for the sake of content, I'll leave them on. But if there are... like... 12 normal nationalities and then like 12 city-states, this is going to be a busy little map. <laughs> Oh, I don't know the rooms. 
city states. Yeah, the city states are also like they, they like to position themselves around natural resources that people want, and then expand into them, <laughs> and then ask you for money. Sydney is not going to last very long. <laughs> I'm telling you now. And the second I have any sort of like legitimate military, Sydney's going to get the hell kicked out of them. I've seen one barbarian outpost that just walked all the way. I'm not seeing all of them. I haven't seen any barbarian outposts at all. I saw some runes. That's what put me so high in the scoreboard. I think it gave me money. Yeah, it normally does. Occasionally they'll give you something useful. Money's useful. Yes, but they give you like actually yeah, if it is, they give you loads of money for early game actually. They'll like double your money. I found some bar 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 barbarians. I also found a natural resource. Like a natural wonder. And oh. I found Mount Kalish. That sounds very mountainous. It seems to be. But I'm I'm gonna kill the barbarians. I spawned in the desert, That's, I, I walked south from the desert, um, and uh, it's just plains here. I, I mean, it's probably better than desert. Though. I mean, horses spawn in plains, so. Uh, I am in a, a battle with these barbarians. They are shady. There's like bones just lying, like like massive bones just lying outside the encampment. Just randomly. <laughs> My unit was promoted. I'm going for rough terrain because, like, everywhere is rough terrain. Practically. Yeah, it is pretty much. Most places are your force of hands. Although, I'm saying that I've got a desert to the north that is just. Is it grey? It's very deserty. Is it deserted? Ha ha ha! Do you see any like distinguishing landmarks I can use to find you? Um, I, I'm by the coast, sort of. I, I'm not by the coast, but like, I, can, I found the coast on my right side. I have found the coast on my left side. Uh. <coughs> so if we're on the same continent, we're the opposite ends of the continent. You are in the Far East. <laughs> Coincidentally. Well, attack you, you put on, you left on attacking animations. I did, yes. That was, yeah, it was glorious. That, that is the option, it kicked you out of the game for me to go back and change. <laughs> Seen my guys' battles before the revolution. We're not quite at the revolution of the war yet. I wonder what the other players are. Um, we could get some England! <laughs> some England! You could get some Bodicea or some Catherine. I always get along with Catherine. Catherine's. Easy to work with for some reason. They can't be duplicates of our nations, right? So we're not going to run into like Rome or Japan. Um, no, can't have doublers. Uh, I'm just waiting for my warrior to heal sufficiently so I can go kick the hell out of these barbarians because they never heal. The good thing about Japan is. Even damage warriors by a full force. Of course, they will die very easily. But 
I'm sure that's the same for every military unit. Not just warriors, because otherwise you're going to be like, <laughs> you on. I wonder who the troublemaker in this game is going to be, because there's always a troublemaker. Troublemaker like, will be the first guy you run into, probably. Usually it's Genghis Khan. And, um, no, because they'll have their own personalities. Sometimes it's your own Aztec guy with these Jaguars. Yes. Of course, sometimes they don't even stick to their personalities and they just uh, randomly attack. Like Gandhi. Yes, or China. Or, or anybody. China are known for causing some shit. Yes, but China attacking Rome is, is quite a historical fact, though. It's probably because of geography more than anything else. This this monument building is taking its time. I would like to build a monument. Yeah, monuments. Monuments are um, very important. It's a monumental occasion. <laughs> right, I'm gonna send this guy east. Like as soon as he's healed. <laughs> Go east! I need to start building more military because we know what kind of problems we have. All of a oh. sudden, there is some dudes spawned from the encampment. Yeah, they kind of pop up out of nowhere. I may have made a mistake with my science. I should have sciences a different science. <laughs> should have chosen a different science. It's like hit that return key as fast as you can. That's the challenge here. Andrew K of Japan. Well, I took over the barbarian cabin. That is like the excitement of the episode. survived. <laughs> the other barbarians that were randomly spawned attacking me and I thought I was going to lose everybody. Somehow, no, but you've got that Bushido. Of course, but somehow, like, they survived. Like, it's, they could have easily killed the last guys, but they've got this amount of time they can spend battling before they have to run away. Yes, and they're like, by the gap between turns, it's about 300 years in this <laughs> part time in the game. Go right here, go in there. How wide do you reckon the continent is? Real nine, well. It would be probably very wide because it's difficult to say because. It is like. Because it's, it's, it's just randomly desert. generated. I can't imagine it's just desert all the way across at this part. <laughs> it looks like it. It could be. <laughs> I've not seen very much desert. I mean, there's like a tiny one, <laughs> like between some some grasslands. I found some 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 swamp, some marsh. Which one is it? Goddess of protection. Oh my god, that's going to be like they're irritating. Just gonna sneak you from the castle. Ah. My turn has ended. I am slowly sinking down the scoreboard. I'm about to like fly back up it though because I'm about to finish my research. Another pantheon. No, it's the same one. No, oh, this doesn't run away. That one. Yeah, the one I um, researched. It's not actually it's just what I thought it was going to be. I think it's technology. <laughs> We're 29 tons in. Uh, I've not even got the first technology yet. Pottery is taking its time. 
I did animal husbandry first. I should have done for today, but I did animal husbandry. Were you hoping you'd find like random horses or something? I I can see like horses and cows all over the place, but it's like completely useless to me. Because I can't get them. Sydney desires jewellery. Sort of Sydney. Hmm. Interesting. Well, my unit needs orders. I just realised the fill you. That was surprisingly quick. I have found a desert to the east. Uh, if it's my desert, you will find some barbarians I can see. It may be a large desert. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy, Danish warriors, what is this? Spanish spearmen. Oh, they found <laughs> the Danish and the spearmen already! Spanish spearmen, that alteration though. Um, yeah, they came at once. It's not alteration if it's an S, it's something else. Oh yeah, it is actually, yeah. It's, well, Spain is here and Denmark is here. How do you talk to them, the Polish or Yeah. Harold Bluetooth and oh, Isabella. Oh, Isabella. Isabella of Spain. I've got a story about Isabella of Spain. Isabella is the third top. Harold is the guy with Spain uh, Yeah. Hmm. He's going to be a bit problematic. I bet you. Um, he was in my other game and he was a bit of a nuisance. <laughs> the Isabella, right. You know the rules of chess. You're familiar with the rules of chess? Yes. Well, previously... Like, the king and the queen were opposite. Like, the king was able to, like, do all the moves and the queen was completely useless. Until some somebody was playing it in Isabella's court in Spain when she was queen. And she was like, I'm not having this sexism. And they changed the rules of chess. And that is why the queen can move anywhere. Yes. Although, she seems to be weirdly navigating past my territory here. There's like a mountain in the way, and they have to like jog around the mountain. It's weird. I feel sorry for them. Wish they could such things as open borders, but I don't think we have writing. I think we need writing. Or you need civil service. Yes, yeah, so that's what you need. It just doesn't make sense. Oh, Rome has expanded into it. It's like you have discovered heading the towards penis ship again. It's going for it. I mean, he's going diamond shape. I would, oh, next technology, guys. My map looks like a hairdryer. <laughs> See, the oh, thing is, I don't even know the technology what it studies next. I don't really know about <laughs> archery. I don't know if I'll actually bother doing archery until, like, late, much later on. I, I see a colour. There is someone to the north of me, someone... I can see like the corner of their border, but I think it I think it might be England. Kamihamaha. No, it's red on what it's red with a white border, so it's the opposite of you, I think it's Elizabeth. I've not actually met her yet and my um my guy's heading like completely the opposite direction. <laughs> Isabella of Spain! Viva España! We're off to live in sunny Spain. That is a song about Spain sung by a Swedish woman in English. <laughs> well, Kyoto is going to grow in population. It's going to double population instantly. That is near, some like. Near instantly. Those are some fertile people. Yes. Stagnated population for hundreds of years, and in a short 50 years, they, they become much more populous. I have found the east coast. It's like oh. pit bulls here, he's rapping about oh, New York. I can stuff. see, I believe it's a city state because it's like dotted lines. Yeah, the dotted lines. In blue and black. I don't know if city states are colour coded necessarily. Sydney's blue and black. 
Sydney's blue and black, like cyan and black. No, it's it's like royal blue and black. Wow. I found a green and black city state. I've not actually met them yet. But like, I must have passed them. You found south. I had some warrior on them. Kyoto is grown and. Now we shall work. Oh, I, 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 my place expanded borders and now I can. Now I'm in possession of some stone resource. See, mine expanded borders and now I'm in possession of some gems resource. Wow, well, I'm finding all these nations. Austria? Austria? <laughs> I've never dealt with Austria. I, we're, I mean, I was going to say it's just, it's just European nations, but I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> I feel slightly out of place. Austria is Maria Theresa. Of Austria, she is top. Maria Theresa of Austria. I can't say I know her. I don't know. I'm gonna look her up. They are red and white, by the way, so it could be England people, it could be Hot World, it could be Hot World. Hot World. Du, 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 du. I found tire. Um, tire. um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that properly, but <laughs> not like a car tire, like T Y R E. <laughs> I was gonna say you've already got rubber. This is incredible progress. See, the thing about the granary is it requires wheat, bananas, or deer, and I don't seem to have any of those. In fact, that's jungle, I might have bananas. I thought it was just forest. I am reading about Maria Theresa. She is, um... Yeah, she's the Archduchess of... And the Queen of Bohemia. Oh. I see a little silhouette of a man. The tires already don't like me. You, should, like, you should check out that red and white nation. It could be Austria. Awesome. And if it is, but it's like directly to the north of me. Oh. Also, my warriors at the other side of the world. I'll check it out in six turns when my scout finishes. I, I just, I just got a scout there. And I, I moved it right outside my borders, and all of a sudden, I can see what I could have had. <laughs> Wheat and gold for days. Just make an say. Oh, Panathen. God of War. Oh my God. Oh. Gain faith if you win a battle for. Oh. It's a defensive one, to be fair. Rome demands silver. I don't even see silver anywhere. Got to adapt how, that social policy. How do they know what it is? Oh, I found a blue man. Yeah, they, they know. Oh things, my god. They, they they know things that you shouldn't know. It's weird. Napoleon's here. Oh my! It's just European nations and Japan. Napoleon is second. <laughs> Napoleon's a bit of a, a troublemaker sometimes. Yes, yeah, Napoleon would probably have been expansive to the Empire. He's got a spearman. Like... Mm. <coughs> I'm not keen on the Napoleonic nation being so close to me. I don't actually know where he is, but... Um, Are you doing all your mad city I'm management? Doing, I'm doing social policy. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. I think probably liberty again. Whatever you feel is best. I am... Wait, next turn I'll be doing that. <laughs> I've found much marshland. This is just ridiculous amount of marshland. Many marshland, but well. I'm getting my warrior to just like follow the coast around. Made up policy. Right. Liberty is absolutely the best. Yeah, it's a tradition is also pretty good. But yeah, yeah, it depends. I think Liberty is the best one because the lower down ones in Liberty are pretty good. Yes. Napoleon. 
I'm Auckland and there's a sugar cane right in the centre of all the marsh. I have seen that marshland. You've seen the marshland of sugar in it? Right in the middle of it. Head like, in fact, I think I may be able to see your border slightly. <laughs> it's like a visual glitch with the river. Head like, um, southwest. In the North City State. There's mountains to the southwest, but maybe a passage. Yes, there is a passage. I am aware of where you are. Apparently there's a natural wonder nearby. There is. <laughs> oh, I found it in Mount... Mount Cthulhu or something. Oh, Mount... Mount Kalish. Kalish, yes. Yeah, head southwest. <laughs> you'll hit a river and then head like... You'll hit Sydney and a river and then head directly south. Yeah, this was a very, um... Fancy looking to me, you got here. There's no trees, what is going on? There are trees where I am. <laughs> I think like I've not seen trees in days. I started in the desert and then I went south and all I could find was like a small bit of trees and it's back to plains. I'm going like all out with the military and defend the best I can. Right. Um. I'm, I have met in Austria as well, apparently. She is first. I don't know where I met her though. Oh no, I passed her scout. Yeah. Yeah, no, she's a much, like, redder red than, like, it's a dark red to the nation to the north of me. We are on the same continent then. Yes. Yes, luckily. To be fair, most of the nations generally end up on the same continent. Yeah, that's best. Boom. Except. Hi! Hi! <laughs> ah, there's a French scout directly. Oh my god, it's like a meeting! <laughs> Harold Bluetooth has appeared! Napoleon's has appeared! <laughs> they will speak about this, this for generations, <laughs> surely. Where is Napoleon? He's like directly behind my scout. He's like two tiles behind me. I see, yeah. Uh, 